Kepler and De Long diagram. Ferrite is important in avoiding hot cracking during welding of osmotic stainless steels. These diagrams are used to predict the ferrite level by comparing ferrite and osmotic stabilizing elements which is available in the composition. To find the ferrite levels, there are two elements are required. One is nickel equivalent, another one is chromium nickel. This nickel equivalent is calculated from osmotic stabilizing elements and chromium equivalent is calculated from uh, ferrite stabilizing elements. To calculate the chromium equivalent value in scaffolder diagram, the following elements are required percentage that means chromium, molybdenum, silicon and niobium. These are all for calculating the chromium equivalent value. For nickel equivalent value, nickel, carbon, manganese, these element, percentage of elements are required for scaffolder diagram only. For D-long diagram, we have to add nitrogen percentage in only nickel equivalent. There will be no modification in chromium equivalent. These are all the formula for calculating chromium and nickel equivalent for both scaffolder as well as D-long diagram. Then chromium equivalent is same for both scaffolder and D-long diagram. The scaffolder diagram can be used to determine the type of micro structure that can be expected when a filler metal and parent metal of different composition are mixed in, in the world. The main disadvantage with this diagram is that it does not represent nitrogen, which is a very strong astronite stabilizer. To find out the nickel and chromium equivalent for SS304 L material. Here the chromium percentage is 18 percentage around, nickel is 10 percentage, manganese is 1.2, silicon is 0.4 percentage and carbon is 0.03 percentage. To find out the nickel equivalent, uh, the value will be around 11.3. To find out the chromium equivalent, here there will be no molybdenum and no niobium so that will be zero so 18.2 plus 1.5 into 0.4 equivalent to 18.8 so chromium equivalent value for SS304 L material is 18.8 and nickel equivalent is 11.3 similarly we can calculate the nickel and chromium equivalent value value for consumable also for example ss304 309l the nickel equivalent is around 14.35 and chromium equivalent value is 24.5 24 24.9 based on the chromium and nickel equivalent values we can plot the ferrite number in scaffolder and d long diagram this uses the magnetic attraction as a means of measuring the proportion of delta ferrite present in the material. This diagram indicates the welding of carbon steel with the 304 l filler. Here the point A represents the uh, anticipated composition of the weld metal. If it consists of the mixture of filler metal and 25% parent metal, this diluted well according to the diagram will contain martensite. This problem can be overcome if a higher alloyed filler is used, such as 304-309L, which has a higher nickel and chromium equivalent that will tend to pull point A into the osmotic point. The presence of martensite is unlikely to cause hydrogen cracking as any hydrogen evolved during the welding process will be absorbed by the asthmatic filler metal. This is the advancement of scaffolder diagram that is uh, D-long diagram. Here in nickel equivalent the nitrogen content that is 30 times of nitrogen content is added in nickel equivalent. Bar graph shows the comparison of a scaffolder and uh, D-long diagram based on test results conducted by American Welding Society. Thank you for your valuable time. Thank you.